Morning everybody, it's day 127 here in Atlanta and we've just checked out of our Airbnb and we are heading to uh, just explore a little bit of Atlanta. I think we're going to go to Martin Luther King's house first up. Um, he invited us over for a coffee. No, he's, uh, he's buried here in Atlanta. So we're going to go and check out the historic home where he lived and uh, see what else there is to see before driving back to Nashville. So let's go check it out. Temporarily closed. Wow. Bless you. Oh, yes. How about, how about they just got married? I, it's amazing because I'm sharing poetry with Dr. King and I was just telling him. Ladies. Amazing. And I'm an old guy, 62, so I do live off charity donation time. I live off a dollar. So whatever God puts in your heart, I want her. That's how I survive. So my, my sister, my queen, she's not here. Yeah. She's not here. My sister, my queen, I got some good news for you. Because this gentleman here, your king of A of Australia, your husband, is a guy who obviously had received a divine appointment for your life. Oh, he knew. He knew on the day he laid his eyeballs on you, young lady. He knew in his soul soul that our creator, whom I choose to call God, Sister girl, God did not, would not, and could not have dropped you, excuse me, King Australia, but I'm giving you a straight mm, 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 mm. <laughs> up as beautiful as you are. <laughs> At least what I see with a bald head of 62 and no teeth, but your lives never to see me again, as beautiful as you are to your family and your friends. But you know what? <clears throat> You're matured out of that nest. <clears throat> so as beautiful as you were to your maid of honor. Well, that event is now over. That leaves one man standing. <clears throat> Boom, it's about him. It's about your king of the A of Australia, your husband. It's always now about what he sees in you. Not your best girlfriend, not even your grandma. Only about what he sees in you on this earth, period. So you hanging out through that jiggly jig of no shake stick and you hanging out over the years to come, 30 years from now when that phone or one of her friends saying, well, I don't care. He's, I, I warned him, he's late again. So brother, never be late, particularly in the rain. You know, that rice paper thin. Because, man, you two were set aside, handpicked, and chosen millenniums ago by angels. That's right. To meet each other and to greet each other. And if I were to borrow your husband and pull him to the side and say, well, how's it feel, brother, being on the other side? He'd say, hey, poet, skip the poetry. Concerning my wife, I'm going to keep it simple. She is the love of my life. Period. And <laughs> man, it there, guys. Oh, that was Woo Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, uh, Liam, King of the A, huh? King of the A. He swindled just like that. That was amazing, though. Uh, correction, he we swindled can, Lockie. We can, <laughs> we can learn something from that. Alicia's Let's just done. go up and just start pulling the guitar Alicia's out and say, Alicia. Alicia. I'll play a song for you. He was saying, oh, oh where, where's the number plate from? And Liam's in Tennessee. He's like, oh, I'm, I'm bike riding to Tennessee today. Today. We're like, you're bike riding from here to Tennessee. He said that he bike rides all over the country, um, riding poetry. You got a good parking spot? Um, the ghost cap of going to get I think we've taken a wrong turn here. No, Tennessee's this way, I swear. <laughs> Fun times. This is a really well-known cemetery. They've got Martin Luther King buried there and they've got Kenny Rogers buried there and a couple of other notable names. But as we're walking up, I realized I've left my AirPods at the Airbnb. And uh, I'm just hoping that I get there before the cleaner does because I think they're in the bed sheets and I don't want them to go through the wash. So I am waiting for an Uber to take me back to the Airbnb. <sighs> okay. Luckily, no one's been yet. It should be somewhere. There they are, you sneaky little shits. Keep moving, stay focused. Oh, it's hard to stay focused when you're as tired as I am right now. We have not stopped. And now I'm looking for the girls. They're in the cemetery somewhere with Lockie and Liam. Oh, I just wanna, I just wanna stop. You can probably tell from yesterday how exhausted I was. I just need a day of, of chilling in my apartment, doing nothing, just kind of hanging, enjoying my own space. 
Well, as far as cemeteries go, it's quite nice. And here's the grave of the great country legend, Kenny Rogers, buried right here. Wow. That's pretty cool. It's a bit more of a special grave than the uh, four sods down here. Well, that's pretty cool. Just had a little poignant moment there with Kenny Rogers. The uh, very first song that I ever recorded was when I was 12 years old. It's called The Greatest Gift of All. It's a Christmas song, Kenny Rogers and Dolly Parton. And uh, I guess that set me on a, on, a, on a path to being a recording artist. And um, yeah, I had that moment there with, with Kenny, just like, thank you for getting me into music. And uh, it kind of made me think about how cool it is that you can, <laughs> you can be gone from this earth, but still leave stuff behind. The importance of legacy. Some of these houses are just insane. Oh, massive, that thing. Mm. Well, having a trailer is sure a pain in the ass. But Liam's done a great job, and we're just going to park it like this. <laughs> Good enough. We're here at the History Center. I'm not sure what's here, but I think it's um, one of the must-dos in Atlanta. Yeah. Great. Closed on Mondays. What a fail. I guess we don't learn about history today. We're gonna get a quick snack here and then we'll hit the road. Oh, the cafe's still open and bustling. This is awesome. I'm going for this, 18 bucks. You get two menu items. I'm going the chili and the sandwich. One drink, one cookie, one fruit piece, and one bread roll. <laughs> That's awesome. What a bargain. It looks delicious. Oh man, you excited? Dude, I'm beyond excited. If you were to rate it out of a scale of 10, I'd be a 16. <laughs> Emma, what color is a banana? Yellow. <laughs> oh, wild, sweet William. Such a romantic. <laughs> we're back in Bucky's. It's the place where they make the brisket. Do they do a brisket in this one? Yeah, they do triple stack burgers. <laughs> triple stack burgers. Oh, we've just had lunch, so I'm gonna have a burger. But Bucky's, it's, it's fun. There's a statue of you. <laughs> we are yet to uh, buy a cowboy hat. I haven't actually got one yet. <laughs> which one, which one? Well, howdy, ma'am. No, she got a flat tire. Yeah, they really make it an experience to come here. These massive, massive service stations. <laughs> it's like a theme park. God, look at these. This Jeb on the road. Holy smokes. Well, gosh darn it, Lockie, did you just have the greatest time there? Gosh darn it, Georgia Shepherd, I did. <laughs> I got beaver nuggets. I got a burger. And I got a shitty American accent that doesn't even sound American. <laughs> Hope you got a discount on that. Well, let me just give us a look inside of it. You want to buy it? Oh. oh really? Is there anything else? It's just meat and bread. Just meat and bread, baby. The way burgers bite. should be. I want to try it. Simple, man. If she was hearing everything, the impression that I got is that I'm in that food or water or conversation in.
Yeah. We made it. Have to find some backup. Another unit. Oh <laughs> Trying to get this in and out of the lift to people in the lift. The lift started going, ah, and, you know. Gosh, what a nightmare. Right, back at the U-Haul. Just dropped off the, uh, the trailer there. Did as well. Did as well. I'm glad to be rid of it. Oh, what a mission. Now we finally get to go home and just relax. Oh, I've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh, someone's excited. Come on down. Yeah, Jesse! <laughs> hey, Bernadette! Hi. What's up? <laughs> nice to see you. Oh, oh Jesse, 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 Jesse. <laughs> Oh, and we're back. We're back. How are you, apartment? What have I missed? A lot of sirens, huh? My bed. Yay! I changed the sheets before I left. Yes! Love that. Good job, past George. Well, as you saw in the car, I spent the drive doing this uh, lyric video. We've been trying to figure it out for the last couple of days. Uh, and I think it's finally in a place that I'm happy with. It's my first lyric video that I've ever made, so don't judge me, but it's gonna be it's gonna be good. It's gonna I really love this song. I think you guys are gonna enjoy it too. But uh, yeah, now I'm just uploading some YouTube videos, and uh, then I'm gonna hit the hay. <laughs> I'm so wrecked still, but I get to sleep in tomorrow. We get a a day off until about four o'clock. Then we got a writing session with. Wakayo and you know Wakayo is the guy who produced Learning to Fly and this new song that we are uh, doing the lyric video for. So we got another session with him tomorrow, which I'm really stoked on. But for now, I'm gonna sign off so uh, I can get some more work done. But I appreciate you guys, and as always, I'll see you tomorrow.